Before starting this trip, I was frequently asked, why are you living in your car? Friends understood, but family, not so much. And coworkers, I would just try and avoid the question altogether because some made me feel as if no matter what answer I gave could justify my reasoning. Perhaps trying to explain all I wanted was a simple, uncomplicated life. Lately I've been trying to seek out environments that are somewhat harsh, like this one. I'm currently in southern Alaska on top of a mountain pass in what is arguably the most beautiful time of year. This lifestyle might not be for everyone, and I'm not trying to make it look easy. But for me, for me it works. My name is Sebastian, and for the past couple months, I've been living in my van in Alaska. Do I need a lot of money to travel full time? That's the question I asked. Yes, you can wait until you retire, but that wasn't the answer I was looking for. I knew I would have to come up with a plan that catered more so to my lifestyle. with the goal to explore and not miss out on what this world has to offer. The hard part about the seasons changing now is that eventually I'm gonna have to leave Alaska. And what makes all of this possible for me is that I'm still working a full-time job. You see, I work for two weeks and then I have two weeks off. And no, I am not in marketing or a digital nomad and I didn't know what freelance anything was until recently. I'm in the aviation industry. I don't know where my travels will take me. All I know is that wherever I end up, I want to share my story with you guys. Now I wish I could stay up here forever, but winter is coming very quick and working on the van when it's cold outside is no fun. With the days running shorter and the morning starting to suggest I should push further west towards Anchorage, 
I set off, but not far down the road, I ended up running into this Swiss couple that shared the same passion and ambition for the path less traveled. We ended up camping out that night, eating moose burgers acquired from a questionable source. Huddled by the campfire, sharing stories from the road and making memories. And just like that, they were headed south, and I was headed west, towards Anchorage, where I had a flight booked for the following morning for my inevitable return to work. Now I wish I could stay out here and continue this travel indefinitely, but like I said before, to be able to sustain this lifestyle, I need to go make some money. <laughs>